What's up, everyone? This is Ordinary here, and I'm bringing you the first of many of a Be a GM Mode commentary as the GM of the Florida Panthers. And this is a team that's been stuck in the basement for a while, excluding last year when they made the playoffs and lost in seven to the Devils. But this year, you know, they were at the very bottom of the league, and they didn't even uh, get the first overall pick. They lost the lottery to the Avalanche. So... This is a team that could desperately use my help, so we're going to try to tackle them and turn them into uh, cup contenders and hopefully uh, cup winners. So first off, we're going to take a look at what we got going on in the system as well as on the team right now. So we'll take a look at the lines. Yikes. So I guarantee you that these three players in our first line belong on the second line, so let's just Fleischman, yeah, second line. Steven Weiss, second line. Uh, Christopher Stieg, oops, what am I doing? Christopher Stieg, second line. Yeah, so these players definitely don't belong on the uh, second line. And then our second line looks like it's got third liners on it. Bergenheim is a, uh, yeah, third line checking forward. Huberdeau. Third line's going forward. I mean, he's going to stay up there. Just so we can progress him faster. But then, yeah, Upshaw. So we got... We're just missing an entire first line. Uh, on defense. <sighs> defense is looking pretty much the same as our offense is. Looks like you're just missing that really powerful top two defenseman. Uh, and then goalies, I'm pretty sure. What's it? Theodore and uh, Markstrom. Yeah. And Markstrom will take that starting position away. So he can progress. I mean, he's 76. I think he's only he's in his low 20s. So he's got a handful more years of progression, and he'll get way better. He'll be an elite goalie for sure. Let's take a look at these contracts. See uh, who we need and who we need to get rid of. <laughs> so the first one that stands out to me would be Brian Campbell. Um. I don't know why the Florida Panthers have an 83 overall defenseman signed to a 7.2 million dollar year deal, but it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Same with Fleischman. I mean, you're a second line winger and you're 83 overall. You're 28 years old. You're not getting any better, and you're making four and a half million. Like, we could probably trade him away. Uh, Jovanovski, 79 overall, making more than four million. Kuba, 35 years old, making 4 million. Upshaw, 79 overall, making 3.5 million. Like, these are players we can trade away. For Stieg, let's hold on to. I mean, he's got four stars. I'll bait they are red, but he could go up if we play him on the first line here uh, next season on the right wing. And he's probably only got about one more year left of progression, seeing as he is 26, but. It's he his contract makes a lot more sense than Campbell's, Fleischmann's, Jovanovski's, Cuba's, Upshaw's, these players. Uh, good Branson, yeah, good to see. How long is his contract? No, only two years. But these are players we like. Good Branson, he's going to be uh, first line. D, -D pairing, uh, Huberto's going to be first line. We he's got a small contract, so wouldn't be bad to have him on the team. Although I'm pretty sure Florida has. A pretty in-depth uh, prospect pool for centermen. I know that their prospects are right up there in the league. I mean, depth-wise, they have one of the better prospect pools in the NHL. They got. Um, they're probably right up there with Minnesota. Minnesota's got a crazy depth pool as well. Uh, Bergenheim. Like these players, Kulikov's good. Kulikov and Good Branson are going to be our. Uh, Top two defensemen going forward. See Mueller, he's a centerman with lots of potential. Drew Shore as well, he's going to be good. Let's take a look at our, yeah, these players. Brennan, Brennan, he'll be a sixth, he'll be a top six D for sure. Hold on to him. In the system, sort by potential. So we got a left winger coming up, and if we trade away some of these players that we got right now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have uh, him first or second line, so he just progresses that much faster. 
Same with players like uh, Trocek and Petrovic. These four-star players will eventually uh, crack the roster regardless, so we might as well get them in there faster, progress faster, win the cup faster. And then just a couple more three-and-a-half-star wingers. <laughs> that hair looks real. Attaboy, Roback. Um, yes, another center, another center. Like Crazy depth here in Florida down the middle and crazy lack of depth on the wing I mean what do you have you have Quinton Howden as a potential uh, first or second line winger and then that's about it McFarland he'll be a grinder Eero who knows what he'll be Eunice no one knows what he'll be I mean I've never heard of these two guys probably because they're Finnish I'm gonna assume they're Finnish they got crazy names yeah Finnish Where's Eunice? Where are you, Eunice? Finnish, yeah, look at that. Finns have crazy names. So, we know that we're going to need some studs on the wing. I mean, we have decent prospects on the middle. Um, it wouldn't hurt to bolster the uh, blue line with maybe one or two more prospects. We got... Uh, Good Branson and Kulikov, and then uh, I don't remember that one guy's name, something of itch. So we got three of our top four for the future, but we could use another one. And then Huberto needs some players next to him. Um, what I'd really like to see is to find a team that is giving away or want, wants to give away a winger with four or four and a half star potential something like Toffoli four star and someone a team that has more cap space than Los Angeles for sure because they're not going to be able to take any of our players I want to give away the players that I am unhappy with on the team are the players that have giant salaries for no reason team like St. Louis has tons of cast base, and I know for a fact they got a pretty good, um, what's it called? Look at that, Tyratty and uh, D. Yaskin, or Jaskin, it's probably Yaskin. Yeah, Dimitri, Dimitri Yaskin, or Tyratty. Either of these players would be worth it. They're probably low, yeah, I see 62, they're definitely not NHL ready, but... This year's pretty much a uh, pretty much gone anyways, so either of these players wouldn't be bad. I kind of I like to pick the players that have a picture for some reason. It just makes them feel more real when you're playing the game. Um Pittsburgh, they don't have enough cap space available. I mean they got uh what's Bo Bennett. Yeah, see they want to give him away. But there's no way that they can take on any of the contracts we're trying to give away. So I'm thinking I already know that uh, not many of the other teams, I'll show you guys just quick, have a lot of cast base. And the teams that do like Toronto, I don't think they want to give away anyone at all. Yeah, see? Uh, no, no. Winnipeg, no one. Buffalo, no one. Calgary, no one. See, these teams that have the cast base are the teams that are rebuilding, so they have no... They have traded away the players that they already wanted to trade away. Or a team like Colorado has... Like Milan Hayduke left, that's it. See so just older players. That's either older players or no players at all. See any older players? Older players. Older players. Like New York I mean, has Chris Kreider as well. So we either go after someone like Chris Kreider. He's four star, I'm pretty sure. But he's a power forward, and I'd much rather prefer a sniper. And I'm pretty sure Ty Ratty's a sniper. You know, power forwards are good for the penalty kill. They're good on your third line. Maybe you can push him up to that second line. But <laughs> let's take a look at these uh, St. Louis wingers and see if any of them are snipers, because I'd much rather have a sniper. A sniper right there. 
and a sniper right there. So they're both snipers. We got our we got our pick. I'm gonna pick Tyratty because I know who he is and he's got a picture. So who do they want? Out of the players that we don't want. Do they want Campbell? Yeah, they do. And Fleischman. That could be overextending. Let's try. Kopetsky. Did I want to give him away? I don't remember. Let's sort by salary, then we'll know who I wanted to give away. Fleischman I wanted to give away. Prestigo wanted to keep. Jovanovski. They want Jovanovski. Let's try that. Campbell and Jovanovski for Tyratty. I don't see that going through. It's not quite enough. Oh, we need to take someone back. Yes, it definitely will go through then. Fairchild. Uh, I'll try it just to prove my point. Or it'll work. So, uh, I say we definitely came away on top on that one. I mean, Campbell's a great player, but... We can't afford to have him on our team during the rebuild. He's up there in age. and I'd say we won that trade for sure. Um, before I end this video, I want to do two things. I want to show you guys what's available for defense out there. And I want to take a look at free agency and see if there's anyone that didn't get picked up on the in the offseason that should have. So let's take a let's check free agency first, and then I'll show you guys the D. Goalies, potential goalies. Kari Ramo. Ah, uh, he's 26, so he's not going to go up any further than 69. He might go up a couple points, but it's not worth it. Same with Richards. He doesn't got many more years left. Ordeo or Gustafsson, though, those could be good uh, trading chips in the future. I'd say Ortio is better than Gustafsson just because he's only a year older, but he's already four points ahead. So a three and a half star player might go four points in one year. He might go three and a half or three, I mean. So he could be 59 in a year. Well, Ortio is already for sure 60. So yeah, let's send this guy an offer. How does he want for three years? Same. Okay, send him that. And I'll take a look at the the D that we could get our hands on here. Um, we're going to want someone who's young. Um, if Versteeg's our oldest player, we're not going to want anyone older than 26. But I'm actually going to knock that even down a few. At least four stars. Let's see. What players exist. So, sort by the opposite trade value because we're not going to be able to afford anyone with the chips that we got right now. Spies is 84 and he's 22 with four stars. That could be a good player to go after. But I'll just show you guys what's available. Uh, let's, I'll keep it on age. If any of you guys have played through and you've uh, found these players with like crazy ceilings, they get like, they get good fast or whatever. Like that could be someone that we want on the team. Lindholm always got green stars. How old is he? 18, 63 overall. I mean, what was Raddy? He was only like a 61 overall, 62 overall. So if we're going to be playing these, giving these guys top line minutes, they'll uh, progress pretty fast anyways. Um, I think like Shattenkirk's probably too expensive. So down from here. Although Brodeen had a crazy year. He wasn't even, he was snubbed for the Calder. He could have had could have had that I see and then good Branson he's ours so like players from here up we could probably put together a trade if that team was willing to give up the player 
if you want. And this video hasn't been very long, has it? Ah, uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, okay, I'll go to uh, I'll go to the trade negotiations page and we can take a quick look at teams that want to give away defenders. And the reason I'm not trading for uh, picks yet is because I like to wait until the middle of the season or close to the middle of the season, like December, and see what teams are doing bad. Um, the trade value goes up a bit, but it's less of a gamble. And when you're trading away players like Brian Campbell, you don't want to trade them to a bubble team because that player can turn their season around, right? And all of a sudden, they are a playoff team. And your picks like bottom 15, it's just dirt. Okay, so players giving away old people. I wish I would have paid attention to this when I was looking for wingers. Shit. Mm, trade value. Or potential, actually, it's sort of by potential. T. Krug, uh, he's three and a half. No one, no one, no one. Is still by potential? I doubt it. Yeah. Clan Denning. Who's Clan Denning? Put him in there. Take a look. He's pretty cheap. He's about the same as Tyretti. Or Tyretti was in the 60s, wasn't he? He was in the 70s. So this player wouldn't be bad. Clan Denning. Potential. Did I skip it? Yeah. Roulette, Xavier Roulette, and R. Spruel, whoever these guys are. They could be players to go after. See, their overall is 58, so that's way below what Rowdy is. Not way, and 55. So these players, they're a ways away from NHL already. So their trade values are probably lower, but probably for a good reason. I'd love to get my hands on someone like Justin Schultz, but look at that trade value. Like he's he's not going anywhere, and they don't want to get rid of him either. So, his potential here it is. Oh, I'm on defenseman instead of players giving away. I don't even think they want to give away anyone, do they? Oh, yeah. Gators giving away. Yeah, they just have wingers. Dumba. Matt Dumba might be a good player. 57. Like, he'll be a good player, but I mean to go after. Yeah. They want to give away Subban? No. <laughs> Four and a half gold stars, eh? Four and a half green for Galchenyuk. Tenority thrower doesn't even have a contract yet, so he might be easier to get your hands on. They got a bunch of D prospects here, holy. Let's see. 64 two way defender. Fifty six two way defender. And Tenorti is a defensive D. So Montreal's got a few uh few options for us there. What's going on here? Oh they just want Hal Gill, I remember that. Old players. Old players. Kreider, McKillwraith, and more. That's it. Dylan McKillarith, let's see, 66 overall, that's not defensive D. I feel like defensive D are easy to come by, though. See, an offensive D man, that's what I like. Put him on the power play. I find they're less, they're, uh, they're more rare in this game. That could be a player we want. Ottawa, old players. 
I feel like some of these teams should not be offering up prospects. They should be offering up their older players. Especially after the season that Philly had, like, why give away... Why would you even offer up any D prospects when your blue line is so weak? Like, Philly... Philly's one of my top favorite teams, but what a bad season. They could not catch a break, eh? Oh, four and a half stars. This could be the guy. This could be the guy. Offensive D. Yeah. Ooh. But Pittsburgh has no calf space, do they? And I'm pretty sure they don't want to give away anyone with a huge salary either. Let's see. Oh, they do. They do. That could... We could take someone like... Neil. He's got a huge trade value. Oh, I like this. What if we take like a juicy? What if we take juicy away? Then they skaters matching block. I want to keep these players. Who's this? He's young. Oh yeah, he's a center prospect, but he's not going to be better than third or fourth line. They don't want any. What about goalies? No. We don't have anything that they want. Uh, yeah, this might not work. Even if we put a bunch of crap in there. No, there's no way. Yeah, see then no. Yeah, okay. So as nice as that would be, we just can't make that trade. Potential. We got one good prospect. That's it. Potential. We've already stolen their prospect away. Tampa old. No one. Gonson Jensen. Don't need forward prospects. Old. No one. And that's where we started, right? Okay, so you guys have seen all the players we can go after. Um, let me know what players you think are the best to target. Uh, if you guys have played through your own GM modes and picked up those players and noticed that they just get crazy good or they're underrated or if some of those players are overrated and you say don't go for them. Um, let me know. As well as we should probably try to get our hands on another winger. So if you've seen any wingers in there that I didn't see um, we still will have a really good first round pick this year because of how bad I'm planning on doing. I mean, we'll probably tank this season pretty hard. Um, and I would like to hold on to a few trading chips on our team so we can get that first round pick later on in the season. So I don't want to go crazy with trades to start the season, but I wouldn't mind.